Hello, my name is Kelly Anton, Siemens HMI and SCADA specialist with PCC. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create two animations. The first animation is going to be an appearance animation for changing the colors of an object. The second animation is going to be a visibility animation for uh, controlling whether an object is visible or not on the screen. So I have a momentary button selected currently. I'm going to go to the events tab. From a previous exercise, we used the press event, and then we used this function, set bit while key press, to toggle the bit, bit underscore one, based on a press or based on a release. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this tag to control the visibility of the lens color of this momentary push button. So with the momentary button selected, I am going to select the animations tab. I get presented with a list of animation choices that are available. So under display, the first type of animation that I want to do is an appearance animation. So I'm going to select the blue box with the little yellow asterisk. That's going to allow me to create a new appearance animation. The first thing that I will need to do is select a tag that is going to control the animation. So I'll press the tag browse button here on the right hand side. Then I will go into my demo tags and I'm going to select the bit underscore one tag. So that tag is going to be used to control the animation. There are different types of animations of how you evaluate the tag. I'm just going to use a range animation at this point. So if I click in add new down below, I can put in a range. So I'm going to use zero for my false condition. I'll click on add new and I'll use one for my true condition. So now I need to configure the color. So the background color would be the lens color of the button. The foreground color would be the actual text of the button. So for a range of zero, so when my uh, bit tag is going to be equal to zero, I want to have a background color of red. So I will select the red color. <clears throat> then for when my button is pressed, or I set the bit underscore one true, okay, then what I will do is on the condition one, I will select the color green. So I'll pick a green color. So now I have two colors configured for my animation. So during runtime, when I when the button is not pressed, or I should say when the bit underscore one is equal to zero, the lens color will be red. When the button is pressed and bit underscore one is equal to true, the button color or the lens color will be green. So that is an appearance animation. The next thing I want to do is show you a visibility animation. So I'm going to take a circle object and I'm just going to put that on the screen here. Now this circle object, I'm going to just quickly change the background color of that to be a green color as well. So I will have this circle uh, be visible when the bit underscore one tag is true. So what I will do is have the circle selected and when I'm on the animations tab I will select visibility. So I'll select the blue um, object here then what I'll do is have to pick my tag condition. So I'll browse for the tag and I will select bit underscore one and select the green checkbox to select the tag. For the range condition here, I, can, I have to put in the range of values. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a range of one to one. So now when the bit underscore one tag is equal to one, I am going to make the green circle be visible, or I could check invisible as an example. So I'll save my project, and we'll test our development. So I will highlight my comfort panel. I will start the simulation. This will start the HMI simulator, so my project will be compiled. So you can see it's compiling down here. The runtime is starting. I will go to my toolbox screen. So now the Boolean value bit underscore one is equal to zero, so I have a lens color of red. If I press that momentary button, my lens color goes to green. And you will also notice that the visibility animation works. So when I press the momentary button, the circle becomes visible because of the animation. So in this lesson, I showed you how to create an appearance animation that changed the colors of an object, and I also showed you how to control the visibility of an object.